The biggest British cash robbery, a true story of kidnap, disguise, bungling gangs and brutal violence. All the elements of a classic gangster flick, like lock stock and two smoking barrels. It's good in here, isn't it? Handy for the tube, great electrics, I can see why you moved in. Don't knock it, it's cheap. Like the budgie. And nobody wants to live next to the people we live next to. A bit antisocial, to say the least. That was a piece of fiction, but now a film company in Hollywood has confirmed it's to turn the story of the Securitas heist into a movie. It would be fantastic to have it directed by Guy Ritchie, who gave us Lock, Stock and Snatch. It would be amazing if it starred Jamie Foreman, a great gangster actor who was in Layer Cake, whose dad was a genuine gang member, and Jason Statham as Lee, the cage fighter who's now in prison behind it all. That's a dream ticket. This new biopic will apparently follow Lee Murray, the suspected brains behind the £53 million robbery and his exploits as a feared cage fighter. However, is it an appropriate story to be told on the big screen? There's nothing glamorous about this crime. It was a very, very violent crime carried out by violent people, and they put the people in, in the Securitas Depot in fear, and that I don't think anything should, should actually glamorise it and romanticise what, what took place. Meet Dave Courtney. Guy Ritchie based the whole Lockstock thing on myself and my little firm. Vinnie Jones plays me in Lockstock. Thank you very much. I'd, I'd, I'd love a little role in it, especially if I know a lot of the characters in real life. You know Lee Murray, do you? I know Lee Murray quite well, yeah. What's he like? Um, well, I should, I should imagine there's two different sides to everybody, you understand what I mean? But he's a, he's a lovely fella, you know, he's, he's quite dangerous. You know, he's, he's a very intelligent, quite articulate, uh, well-spoken, naughty man. The author of the book the film's based on says this story has all the elements. There's a gang, there's a plot, there's a job, there's the getaway, there's the police chasing after them, 100 Kent coppers chasing after these guys. There's trial, the Old Bailey, conviction. So it's got everything. It's a great crime caper. Hollywood certainly has a love affair with committing real-life stories to celluloid, from the changeling to Che, from Frost Nixon to Yes Man. The current crop of films at the cinema certainly reflect this. And the producers of this new film will be hoping that this real-life crime will become a box office smash. Caroline Faraday, BBC South East Today, Tunbridge Wells.